welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well and if you are new to my channel my name is arnavi mitra and i am a sd at amazon so as you can see we will uh, today work on this algorithm find all the prime numbers in a given range so this is the fourth video of my basic dsa series and here i uh, will be describing how we can find uh, uh, we will given an range and we need to find all the prime numbers in that range so for example i can show you with an example for example if we have 10 and we need all the prime numbers in that range we can return 2 3 5 and 7 these are the four prime numbers in that range similarly uh, i will show the brute force algorithm and the most popular sieve algorithm how we can solve it and the main purpose of this is to uh, work on the sieve table so that you can solve any that kind of question uh, that are related to prime and you can solve it so using this algorithm you not only like find all the prime in that given range also the count of prime count of non prime all the non prime numbers all the things you can find so without wasting any time let's start so uh, the first thing we will think like how we can do it in a brute force way so for example in brute force way what we can do uh, we can take number like we know 0 and 1 are not prime so from i equals to 2 to n we can check for each and every number we can check if those number are prime or not so this is obviously going to take order of n times and here uh, if we keep on checking from uh, 2 to i minus 1 if it has any num any factor or not it can take order of i time or maybe the improvised way that I have uh, mostly covered in my previous video we can check do this check done within uh, root of i time why let me show you with one example quickly so if i i have 36 i can divide it like this uh, 4 cross 9 6 cross 6 so within uh, like less than equals root 36 there will be at least one divider that is dividing that number for example 25 it has no number like 1 2 3 4 it's are not dividing but 5 cross 5 is the only one number so for any number n we will have one factor that is less than or equals root of n so within order of root n we can find if that number is prime or not so technically it's taking n cross root of n time but our approach will be if we can modify it or we can apply any other algorithm so we can have uh, uh, this uh, we can like modify it or optimize it so that we can get in lesser time complexity so I will show you with example what is sieve table and why we need that so for example let's take a very small example suppose n is 25 and I am just preparing one table. Uh, just a second, I guess I need to erase. And it's 25 and I'm just writing like this. Each index will uh, define one place. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So let's have it till 10 and in the next line I will add other things. So it's nothing but, but one adding. So once I uh, move more. I will keep on explaining why I am taking one array. 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's skip till 20. 
and the next part we will have only 5. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So technically we are taking an array of length 26 or n plus 1 because 0 index. That's why we will take n plus 1. Now initially what we can do? This 0 and 1 are not prime. We can mark it as false. Now we will start with 2. Now we know that 2 is prime number. So let's mark it yes. And what we can do, all the numbers that are multiples of 2, that can't be a prime number because 2 is a prime number. So, its multiple will have obviously 2 as factor. So, it can't be a prime number. So, I will simply go and mark them false. <coughs> now, I will come to 3. Now, 3 is prime number it and it's not divisible by 2 otherwise it would have already marked so i will make it true and uh, all its um, multiples i will uh, mark as false now one thing to note that 6 is already marked 12 is already marked because those come under the those are also multiples of 2 that's why these are marked so i will start with 9 then 12 is marked 15 I will mark, 18 is marked, 21 I will mark. Now let's come for 5. 5 is marked, 10 is marked, 15 is marked, 20 is marked, I will mark 25. Now all the remainings are, if you check clearly, 7, 13, 11, 17, 19 and 23. All are prime numbers. So here is a catch that I will explain. So, I guess this part is clear. We just need to take one number and keep on marking its multiples. Now, there are two catch. So, first question may arise like how long to run the loop? Run the loop? So, anyway, for one number, we are marking all its multiple. So, if we check for all the numbers, so it will like it will almost be equal to n square that we can't afford. So, is there any other way? So, if you notice that for 25, we are doing till 5. And after that, all its, uh, till like all the primes are marked and all the non-primes are not marked. So, if we run, um, so as I explained in my previous videos as well, if we do till root of n and for root of n, for all the numbers, there will be one factors. For example, 25 has the greatest factor as 5. That is root of 25. Now, 24 is obviously less than 25. That meaning that anyway 24 have all the factors that is less than equal. 25 not equal that are less than uh, root under 25. So, if uh, we are achieving till 25 within root of n, then all the numbers less than it, obviously, all if it has any factor, it will get marked. So, uh, we can uh, assume that one, right? So, we can run our uh, loop till root of n. Now, another interesting thing to note, when we are starting from 3, we no need to mark 6. We can start from 9. Similarly, for 5, we can 6, 10, 15, 20 are marked. We are starting from 25. Similarly, if there were like 7, we are not running for 7. But suppose it has a greater range. What would happen? We need to start with 49. Why? Because all the numbers less than 7. For example, 7 plus 2 are already marked. 7 plus 3 is marked uh, on the loop of 3. 7 cross uh, 4 obviously marked because it's an uh, like uh, it will be obviously marked in loop of 2. 7 of 5 also marked in loop of 5. 7 of 6 also marked in loop of 2 and 3. And 7 of uh, 7 we need to start with. So obviously the lesser number those numbers which are less than 7 are uh, they came before uh, uh, the, in the loop and they are already marked. So the marking, the marking we can start, we can start with 
I cross I. Like for 2 we can start with 4, for 3 we can just ignore this and start for 9 and then keep on multiplying, uh, like keep on taking all other factors. So this two slight optimization like we can do and that is our C stable and that is surely going to give us many uh, useful results. So in future I will obviously talk about more applications of sieve algorithm. So let's just check the um, thing very uh, clearly like what uh, what is a sieve algorithm and how we can do and then we will try that. So what we need at first, let's take an boolean array. I hope I'm just trying to write the pseudo code so that uh, C++, Java, Python people can understand. So I will take one array of size n plus 1 and mark all the elements of it at two, true. Later, like we can keep on marking uh, all the others as false because those we, who, who will remain unmarked are actually true or the prime number. Now here... 0th element and the first element we will mark as false. Next we will start our loop from 2. And as I mentioned we will run till root of n. So we can write it like this as well. Now one thing. So if, if that number is already marked. Here a slight checking. See, in case of, uh, so we when we were uh, running it, like for 2, we were marking 4, 6, 8. Then for 2, after 2, we were starting with 3 and after 3, obviously 4 will come in our loop. Now, we can see that 4 is already marked, marked as false. That means 4 is no longer true. That means this is one non-prime number. So, no need to go and run a loop for it because all of its factors obviously it get marked. So all the factor uh, multiples of 4 are also multiples of 2. So no need to think of that and if they are true then only what we will do we will keep on marking its multiples. We will uh, like keep it as true and we will keep on marking its multiples. So I can take another variable that will start with I cross I, as I mentioned, uh, I can uh, start with uh, I cross I, I cross I because other things are uh, not needed. Now J is of less than equal N and J plus equal I. What I will do, I will mark all the elements false. So this is a very small code of piece of code and this gives us the sieve table that is very important. All the true marked are uh, prime, non-true are false. Uh, we can get the count of true, uh, count of prime, count of non-prime. Even we can get for a certain range how many numbers are prime or not. We can get each and everything. So this table is very much important in the number theory concept. If you don't know this algorithm, I would suggest go and check this algorithm because there are multiple questions will come from it. Even for Infosys, uh, this is very important question. Now, next thing is the time complexity. You may think what can be the time complexity? Is this lesser? Because anyway, you can see uh, two, lo uh, two loops. So, is it lesser? So, what we are actually doing, if there are n, to, to mark uh, all multiples of uh, 2, we are just doing n by 2 number of times. Like in 10, we are doing such operation for 2, then 4, then uh, 6, then 8, then 10. So we are doing 5 operation. For uh, 3, we are doing n by 3, like n by 3, almost like n by 3 operation, then n by 5, till the uh, highest prime number we have that in range. So if I take this n out and it will be an HP series of all the prime numbers. And if you have the, some knowledge of mathematics or you can check this comes like log of log of n. So this is the actually time complexity of a sieve algorithm in log of log n. 
and if you can see in anywhere it is mentioned that our range is still 10 to the power 4 or 5 we can simply apply the sieve algorithm this is surely going to work now if you have any more question you can please let me know in the comment section also you can join my telegram channel the link is in the description you can also connect me with LinkedIn and if you want any one-to-one -one session with me or your CV review or uh, interview uh, or any other thing you can join my uh, you can connect with me topmate.io the link will be in the description we can have a call and we can discuss on this and if you have any suggestion feedback please let me know in the comment section if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.